Welcome to Martinstown Stud. So we've got on the fringe and Deffy de Sow. This is Deffy here now. What's he like? Ah, he's lovely. He's, he's, he still thinks he's he still thinks he's going racing. He's kind of wired there a lot of the time, you know. How they get on well. This fella is a lot more relaxed, so he keeps the other fella calm, you know. On the fringe, keeps the other fella calm. He's not over big, yeah. He's not your typical chaser, anyway. You could see you could see why he only try, try and pull. He likes the, the Cheltenham winners back here. Harry is one in Cheltenham, but. He's just accommodating and the fries fell in love with him, so he's very accommodating that way, you know. I suppose it's a five-star hotel for racehorses, really, you know. It is our job to keep it that way. 26 retirees here at the minute. Yeah. And between those 26, I think there are 54 grade ones, went one between them. So, it's a fair record, isn't it? If you're at Brack one, I think it was 17 of those. <laughs> So he's, he's doing the heavy lifting. It's hard to get one or two 17s serious, isn't it? And if, if we find that they're still a bit wired in the field when we leave them out, we bring them back in and we wind them down slowly on the walker. Right, okay. You know, give them an hour on the walker in the morning, half an hour in the evening, and just wind them down that way. Once they've settled in, their minds are settled, they can go out. So here, on the right is don't push it, and on the left is his pal Sweeps Hill. So you know all about Don't Push It with the, the National in 2010. He was third in it the following year. He's calmed down a lot. He's um, a little bit temperamental at times. You, you can see why John Joe had to train him from the field. John Joe used to put him out with sheep all the time just to keep him happy. Right, okay. Sometimes he's not happy around other horses. So this fella he gets on well with, so that's why we've picked Sweet Hill to be his pal there. So they're out together there for the last seven or eight years, they're great pals. I was there the day he won the national and I thought when I saw him at the start, he was in a ladder of sweat. I said, you've your race won already. Lost. Or lost, lost already, but he, um, he's, to just tell you the amount of ability he had, you know. During the summer here, we could have 240, 50 horses coming from England and all the trainers in Ireland that come back to Martinstone for their break. JP loves to have them around the place and the, he knows they're, they're minded here and, we can bring our own vets to check them over and we have every horse's tendon scanned. They need to, every horse has to be seen by the dentist. So we make sure that's all done here. So the one nearest to us is more of that. And the further over one is Annabel Fly. More of that, as you know, when the stairs hurt. I think he's the only horse to have beaten any power when she stood up, isn't he? And Annabel Fly was second in the, in the Cheltenham Gold Cup one year. Two lads is right. Um, Annabel Fly can be a bit grumpy. He'd put the ears back at you there and maybe threaten to give you a little nip at times. His back is worse than his bite, I think. Mm -hmm. And more of that is a Christian, is a pure saint. It's a pity he had, he had little problems, more of that, because he, he was a very good horse, it's a, he was an exceptional horse today, he won the stairs home. Jet ski is the closest one, and binocular is in the middle. Sure isn't it great to be walking through fields looking at that kind of talent every day. 20 grade ones between him. Like you, you see those champion hall type horses, they're, they're not over big, but they're built like splinters, like sprinters, they have strong nicks, and he's more of a chasing looking type, all right, over there. There's no doubt that they know they're good. They, they go around there and they, they walk differently than other horses and they walk around like they're kings there. See the Brack there now and the boss walks down through the barn, he actually knows who owns him. The door, the ears, he's out over the door, the ears are pricked. He knows that JP is coming down the barn. And, 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 and I know that for a fact, he knows. Chantry House now is, he got a fall in Warwick on Boxing Day. And he'd he, he done a little bit of damage to his nick. Nothing that, that they're worried about. But it's just going to, he's getting a little bit of physio and things there, so he's going to have to be minded. We're going to give him the rest of the season off, bring him back next season. If a horse got injured above with Willie Mullins or with Gordon Elliott today, they'd probably be back to us within a couple of days and we do the rehab here. Middle of times is due back here in the next, I'd say, maybe week. Joining up with all these guys, yeah. 
working for JP, I suppose nobody else has the quality of horses he has, you know. So working for him, you're seeing the very best. So it is, it is lovely to be able to see it, you know. The champion hall winners and the East of Brax and that show, they're once in a lifetime horses, you know. He's a character. He, um, he has his routine every day and he sticks to his routine, you know. But he's very cheeky. And that's a side people don't get to see. You know, that's, everyone knows him as the three-time champion hurdle winner, but they don't see the cheeky side.